First responders continue to rescue people trapped by fast rising floodwaters from Hurricane Harvey. This is East Houston. People who live nearby are wading through water that is sometimes chest deep, trying to get to higher ground. Governor Greg Abbott says the state has now activated 3,000 National Guard and State Guard members because of severe damage and flooding. FEMA says they'll be in Texas for years in the aftermath. We have the latest now from Jay Gray in Houston. The water and tensions continue to climb in Houston. The remnants of Hurricane Harvey spilling over the nation's fourth largest city. The National Weather Service warning up to 50 inches of rain could fall on some areas. You know, you get this much rain in 24 hours, you know. 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock last night, everything was cool. And then the heavens opened up, and we're getting five inches of rain an hour. The rain was heavy, constant, and fast, the flooding catching many off guard. So when I opened the door, more water rushed in, and all of my stuff flew out, and like it just kept coming in. So I shut the door back, and I, I was like, I got to get out. Search and rescue missions are underway, but first responders are struggling to keep up with all the calls for help. The system, there are a lot of people who are calling, but let me ask, uh, for a gift, let's give preference to the life-threatening calls, okay? Everything from helicopters to boats to flatbed trucks have been deployed to deliver victims to higher ground. And uh, we just, we prayed a lot and um, we just praised God and he, you know, we were rescued, so we're very thankful. Residents who need help have been told to avoid attics. Rescuers are worried people may be trapped inside. It's pretty bad right there. We need some chainsaws and some axes so we can get people out of their houses. Uh, we got the fire, as you can tell down here, the police are down there with their boats, but they're requesting that we get some axes and some chainsaws. So it is a desperate race now against the water, trying to get thousands of people to safety here. Jay Gray, NBC News, Houston.